Hey guys, it's Denise from Lumahead.com and the project in this video is the Mock Crochet Infinity Scarf and it's super easy, I promise. Look for the supply list on the website and in the description below. Let's begin. We're working with a single strand of worsted weight yarn. Just secure it to your anchor peg or if you don't have one use the loom and then you're going to wrap 18 pegs. By the way, if you count the number of pegs that I wrap on the video, you will only come up to 14. I did do 14 and then I changed my mind. Now, you're knitting flat so you're going to turn around and knit this peg which you normally skip but this is a cast on so you're going to knit it and then you're going to continue to knit all of your pegs. I'm using the U-wrap version of the knit stitch so half wrap the peg and knit off. Again you half wrap the peg and knit off and keep going until you reach peg number one and at that point you finish the cast on. For row one you're going to slip the first peg and start at peg two and you're going to E-wrap that peg number two knit off and then you're going to take the working yarn from behind and you're going to go back to peg one and wrap pegs one, two, and three knit off and now wherever your working yarn is from this point on when you stop that is your new peg two and you start the process again you go from behind peg one and come forward and wrap pegs one two and three and then you knit off in that order one two and then three and you do that because it gets tight if you do it the other way around so again this is now your new peg two and you're gonna go back to peg one from behind and wrap pegs one two and three this is the mock crochet stitch okay and you're gonna knit off one two and three and just like I said before you're doing it in that order because it's easier if you follow this instruction and you did 18 or 14 pegs or 24 you will find that you will finish with the very last peg in that order you're wrapping pegs one two and three and now you're back at the end and your last peg and again you're going to skip that first peg go to peg two and you're going to wrap peg two and knit off you're going in a different direction now but you're going to go back to peg one and wrap one two and three and you're going to knit off in that direction one two and this is your peg three which now is your new peg two and you're going to start the process again you're knitting clockwise in other words you're going in that direction so going back is this way so you're going back to peg one wrapping one two and three and knit off and your peg number one is now your new peg number two and you're going to go back to peg one and I know it can be a little confusing but stay with me Now it's time to join the two ends so find the other one and you're getting this side not this side these are the stitches you're going to remount so make sure that you pay attention and just bring that other end back inside the loom and remount those stitches
Now you need to knit off and so you're going to be knitting the bottom over the top and you need to uh, tighten those the working yarn and the cast on yarn pull them a little so that they tighten uh, those loops a little bit you're going to see that the bottom one is a little tighter than the top don't worry about it just continue to knit off after you knit off the last one come back to the front and you're going to look for the working yarn and you're going to wrap it around almost the whole loom get your scissors cut the working yarn and this is the yarn that you're going to thread your needle with all right go back to the front of the loom to where peg one is find the other strand of yarn which was your cast on so with your cast on and your working yarn you're going to make two knots to kind of secure things and then you're going to get your needle and we're going to start the process of the cast off and you're going to uh, take that needle and you're going to feed it from the bottom up on peg one and then you're going to go to peg two and this time you're going to feed from the top down and your next peg you're going to do the opposite you're going to do from the bottom up right here and then on the next peg you're going to go from the top down and as you can see there's a little pattern going on here so you're going to alternate from the bottom up and the next one then from the top down Continue that process until you're all the way at the very last peg. And there you're going to take your needle in two times because you want to uh, make a knot with that last bit of yarn. Tighten your knot. Get your hook and now we're going to remove the loops from the pegs. you're done remove the loom from your space and you can admire your work and as you can see it looks pretty good you can barely tell where the cast off uh, actually where you joined the two ends and now we're going to weave in our ends so get a crochet hook and just basically through any space it doesn't matter any loop you're gonna feed that working yarn in order to kind of get it um, as close to the center as you can with the amount of uh, thread that you have and then um, when you feel like it's hidden enough you can go ahead with that end and um, make a knot in order to secure it so that it doesn't you know come off when you wash it or something so that's why you make a little knot nothing too major and then if you feel like you have excess yarn you get your scissors and you can cut off that little bit of yarn stretch out the stitches after you cut and uh, if you see any little feathers or whatever that are sticking out go ahead and clean that up and then you're just going to get to the other end and you're going to weave in that one and you're done yay now steam block the project if you can and i hope you liked it and you'll come back and loom with me again